a lot of you have asked me a couple times what the interior of the boat is going to look like. I made a draft, it may change in the future, but I made a video to show you how I'm thinking it's going to look like. Version 1. I'm not any good with CAD tools, so I've used a simple architectural um, planning tool that you normally use to furnish your apartment or house and equipped that with everything that I want to put into the boat, pushed it around a bit, made sure that all the uh, measurements are correct, that the boat is the correct size. And this only works for a boat like mine because it basically has straight walls all over the place and is built like a bread box. So if you enter from either the starboard or port side, you will go through these big doors, same size as these door frames here, and you can immediately turn into one of the hull bedrooms. The way I have designed these bedrooms is basically you have a bed in a space where you don't have standing height. So this is one meter 35 from all the way the bottom of a build to the ceiling, which means a bit will be subtracted for the bilge itself plus the bed's construction, but you're only laying down there. So it's a two meter um, by something like one meter 20 probably bed. So okay for two people, worst case, but normally a, a big single bed. Then here in front, you have standing height. So you don't bang your head against anything. You have two meter 20, I believe. Um, somebody could translate all this into empirical units. I'm too lazy for that. Sorry, guys. Um, and the idea behind this standing height is that it shouldn't look boxed off or useless from the outside. So the way I'm planning to achieve this, as I've mentioned in a previous video, is having this counter space for the kitchen double as roof of this bedroom. So basically when you're standing here, you can use it as additional counter space for the kitchen, which will be placed here next to the helm. It will be a quite large kitchen for a boat. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put the sink, where I'm going to put the stove. So uh, it's all just a placeholder here. Um, the corners could be top down refrigerators and uh, use that space more wisely than you normally would use uh, the corner space in a kitchen. Um, obviously dishwasher needs to be here because that not only uh, is very convenient, but also saves water um, if you're uh, washing dishes normally and not being very, very economical. Um, right next to it, as I've mentioned, is gonna be the helm. So it'll stay basically the same it currently is. I have thought long and hard about moving it or putting it into a different position, but I'm actually quite happy with where it is. So. You'll have a chair to be able to sit down and then look through the forward facing windows or stand up and look out of that hatch. In front of the helm is a pretty huge sofa corner. So I'm looking at a two meter by three meter space here so that a lot of people can chill, uh, watch TV, uh, on a screen that's fixed to the helm. Also talk to the person at the helm, talk to people in the kitchen. So create a, a very open space. Obviously here's the, the forward hatch to go to, go to the bow um, and access anything anchor related. Um, you have a bit of cabinet space here for a laundry machine, potentially a dryer. Uh, something like that. And then the heart of the space, a, a huge sitting area with a potentially 
folding um, dinner table so that you can even increase it or depending on how much space uh, we have here I may just get two normal kitchen chairs um, to add to this table in a marina or at anchor um, that would normally be stowed somewhere but that would mean they would need to be very uh, easily storable. Um, here I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this space because same situation as on the starboard side there is this fake counter space that serves as the roof of the second bedroom. Uh, so it could be a huge nav table slash workbench. If you have better ideas what to use this space for, then definitely let me know. So then this is the only space that is actually separated by walls in the current planning. Um, if you walk in here, you'll find a small head with a shower for kids, for guests, something like that. Um, here's the hatch for um, motor uh, accessibility. So we have a huge hatch here that I've uh, tried to visualize with uh, the wood facing another direction. Um, that will be mostly batteries and then this small hatch here will be uh, electric motor and whatever I install down there. Walking through this door, you will be in the master bedroom. Um, lots and lots of space here, lots of light windows. Uh, I'm looking at a, so the bed looks quite narrow. The reason for that is I'm one meter 91 tall. So my entire life I've been uh, trying to get a bed that's more than two meters long uh, and this could finally finally be the chance so this bed is two meter twenty long um, meaning that it'll go on the rudder casing with uh, with a mattress at the um, uh, top side and then extend all the way to this hatch, which is uh, the same as on the other side. So access to the electric motor and whatever is gonna be down there. Um, I'm planning to build a wardrobe in here that incorporates the uh, aluminum vents. So it'll be a bunch of woodworking um, to be able to use the wardrobe as a separator wall while um, keeping the aluminum vents in here. And then, yeah, a little, little uh, additional cabinet and eventually the master bathroom or head um, with what I'm planning is uh, a shower slash bathtub. Bathtub obviously not uh, <laughs> on high seas, but uh, in the marinas, something like that with a window facing outside. So if there is nobody looking in, you can actually have a bath and uh, look out. Uh, otherwise, some sort of um, shade or something to cover the window so that you're not uh, there for the entertainment of the entire marina. Um, rudder casing uh, or the um, yeah, rudder access will be fully accessible. There is actually quite a bit of space down there um, to add a, a little uh, inlet so that you can um, open it and put some stuff in there like towels, for example, um, in a removable uh, uh, little thing that you can take out if you need to access the router. And then obviously some space for uh, whatever you need in a bathroom or whatever, uh, especially women need in bathrooms. And yeah, that is basically it. So this is the draft for a very open setup. So having um, 35 or 30 square meters of completely open space here in front so that it really feels huge. This definitely has some um, disadvantages in terms of uh, compartmentalization for uh, yeah dangers at sea for blue water cruising you would rather have 
many more separated compartments, uh, small rooms. Mm, so still considering something like a deck salon or uh, an additional room separated from the helm here so that you can use this space that you have a, a seating area near the helm and then have this entire space instead of having the kitchen here uh, with standing height for the for the room below um, but right now i'm still leaning towards this really really open setup because if you want to live on it then uh, feeling like it's a huge space is definitely worth a lot yeah, so that concludes my little virtual boat tour. I hope you understand a bit more what I'm planning to get at here. Um, I'm very open for all your questions, comments, and all you boating people telling me what terrible mistakes I've made here. Um, still open for planning. It's very cheap to change a virtual model. Um, so let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done that, so you can see this stuff becoming a reality, hopefully within the next one or two or three or four years. And then see you next time, and thanks for watching.